All right, you guys, as you guys can see, these are my dirty, dirty brushes that we are going to clean today. So I'm going to use my Suave shampoo. Um, I didn't really use the dish soap there in the container here. I have olive oil, I'm sorry. I have coconut oil mixed with a little bit of canola oil because I did not have olive oil. So that's what's in that mixture there. And then again, to that side there, you see my horrible, dirty, beauty blender and then of course a bar of soap and I'll show you guys what I do with all that soon all right these are my brushes let's get started all right so we start off with the shampoo and I just squeeze a small amount into the palm of my hand grab one of my brushes there and I'm going to swirl it in the palm of my hand you can see how dirty my hand gets from the dirt and the makeup and all that that came from the brush. So I basically, you know, swirl in, in the palm of my hand, back and forth, circular motions, however, whichever works for you. Um, and then I also, I go to my fingertips and I use my fingertips as a scrubber. And that works pretty well too. Just circular motions in the palm of my hand. Okay, and this process, it does take quite some time. You really wanna, you know, lather the conditioner or shampoo or, or whatever type of soap product you use. Really wanna make sure it gets in there because if you haven't washed your brushes in a long time like me, then it's going to be a lot of makeup that you have to remove. So let's go ahead and turn our water on. Lukewarm, not too cold, not too hot. And as you see, I am pressing in a downward motion, going back in my hand. You don't want to hold the brush up. You don't want to get any type of water in. So that's why I'm pressing and squeezing the water in a downward motion. When you have your brush in an upward position, you can mess up the brush that way and it can deteriorate over time so you don't want to get any water into your brushes so keep it in a downward position and as you can see it's still dirty the conditioner the shampoo did not really do much it's not white like it should be so we are not done so yeah that's that's still dirty yeah all right so as you can see soap and shampoo is not enough so let's go ahead and get our oil mixture here we're going to dip it in there you know get it nicely coated and you know same process in the palm of our hands in a circular motion Okay, work the product in there. Now you can see it was brown before, but now it's turning white. So that is what the oil does. The oil removes the stain, the shampoo basically cleans it and the oil removes any stain. And you can see the water, the water is, yeah, there was still makeup there. So that is why the oil is very essential, very important when cleaning your brushes using shampoo, soap, or whatever, it's not enough. Okay, so going back in with my shampoo again, not too much, circular motion, just making sure that it's actually really, really clean. We don't want any residue of oil, we don't want any suds. We want a clean brush. We don't want to clog up our pores because that ain't cute. Mm -mm. No, honey child, that is not cute. So back again, right underneath the water. We're squeezing it as we go, downward position. So that way it'll dry faster when you squeeze out the excess water. Make sure you get it good. Good. 
You guys, this process took me probably about an hour to clean all my brushes. Okay, okay, what we got? Looks like we got a clean brush. Looks like a clean brush to me. Well, the bristles were white. All right, squeeze out any excess water. You know, get your shape back. And look at that. Yay, it's white again. How neat is that? All clean. All right. So that looks nice, don't it? All right. And now we're just going to repeat the same process with all of our brushes, you guys. Repeat the same exact process. Don't skip anything, especially with the oil. Again, it's very, very essential that you use oil. So I had a second cup there. I'm going to just place my um, clean brush in that cup uh, while I'm uh, cleaning the rest of my brushes. And I'm just going to place it to the side and keep it moving. Moving on to the next brush. Okay, so this is my second brush showing you guys how dirty it is. Oh my gosh, look at that spot right there on the side. We have to take care of that. You guys are going to see it again. Ah, uh, Okay, yeah, there it is. So I'm going to teach you guys how to take care of stains and spots like this while washing your brush. Very tedious process. Again, with the shampoo in the palm of our hands. And we are just going to repeat the same process again with a circular motion. And then we're going to wash it in a downward position, of course. washed it with the shampoo that stain that black spot is still there and we need to take care of that asap so this is where the oil comes in again you guys and i'm going to show you what the oil does and how it's going to remove that stain from our brushes Amazing. Look at that. No stain, no black mark, just a neatly, nicely coated brush. This is why oil is essential when cleaning your brushes. How beautiful is that? Let's continue on to our beauty blender. All right, let's go ahead and move on to the beauty blender, you guys. You guys can see how horribly 
dirty it is. I'm really use my beauty blender for my foundation, so that's why it looks how it looks. Then it has a weird shape to it because it has all that makeup stuck in it. So, just showing you guys how dirty it is, and I just felt like I had to explain myself there. So this is where the bar of soap comes in, and this is the only thing that I use on my beauty blender. Um, I didn't want to use oil because a beauty blender is like a sponge to me, and I did not want it to trap in that oil because it took me a very, very long time to clean this beauty blender. Um, even when it looks clean on the outside, it wasn't really clean. I went back in on the bar of soap, and it was still dirty. So this process here does take time so you would actually have to have some patience <laughs> some patience so just rub it on the back of the soap there back and forth um, wherever you see the dark marks the dirty spots just rub it in there um, okay not so bad haven't been here long and it's you know clearing up already but like I said even when it is clearing up and I have the entire outside of the beauty blender clean and I squeezed it underneath the water. It looked clean, all right. But I went back in underneath um, of the bar soap, and it was still dirty. So there is dirt and makeup inside. So make sure you guys are... After a very tedious process of washing this beauty blender and going back in with the soap numerous of times, we finally have ourselves a clean beauty blender. Look at that. All clean the color is back now i did have one black mark one dark mark other than that it is clean now when you are rinsing off your ble your beauty blender and you think it's clean go back in with the soap and you'll notice how much makeup is trapped inside so that's why this process takes a long time took longer than washing any of my brushes because it's a sponge and it absorbs all the makeup and you need to get inside there and take all that gook out so take your time in washing your beauty blender final step when washing our brushes is drying them and that step is very important as well so I just get a towel and I just fold it on one end so when I do place my brushes they are laying in a downward position at an angle there placing my beauty, my beauty blender and then getting the rest of my um, brushes there and just having them along the line and this is it this is how I wash my beauty blenders, and I just let it dry for about two hours, two to three hours. Um, if you guys missed anything, I would put everything in down below in the description box. Um, make sure you like, subscribe, and comment if you have any questions, and follow all my social medias, which will be in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching my video. Much love.